Okay, guys. So let's try something um, different with async await. Is that um, say I have this uh, little say with uh, five calls to my name, and uh, let me just copy it a uh, bunch of times. Right. Let's just uh, name these things uh, differently. You know. Uh, Okay, so I've got like five calls. Um, and let's just change the numbers a bit. Let's say it's two. There's gonna be um, three here. This will be four. This will be six. And this will be two. Right. Now what I want is that uh, I want the calls to Arnav, Rishabh, and Harshit, the first three, to happen parallelly with each other. And um, you know, let's uh, say we make one of them. Right. So let's say it takes six. Here, okay. Yeah, and then we want the calls to uh, Ayush, Garima, and Karthik. Hello, Ayush. Hello, Garima. Hello, Karthik. These three parallelly. So I want is that uh, you know these three parallelly together, and uh, the first three parallelly together. So I would I want something like I don't know uh, if you can see the things. So I've got uh, you know. I've got these three tasks and then I've got uh, some more three tasks so I want it to happen like this like if this is the timeline the time scale what I want to happen is that uh, uh, at uh, say some particular time t equal to t1 I want uh, all these three uh, tasks you know six to three to start together four six to start after that um, what if like the sum of the time taken for all of them is kind of different let's say we have like six and we have four uh, oh, let's just say you know uh, yeah two sorry uh, we got two and we got three so now what happened is that I would have a bit of uh, problems that the first task takes uh, what six seconds uh, there you go. so uh, the first task takes uh, six seconds the second one takes uh, two seconds third one takes uh, you know three seconds so something like this now I want is that after these three tasks have ended only then would the next task start so uh, then there is one which takes you know four seconds and one that takes uh, six seconds and there's one that takes uh, two seconds okay so uh, that's the way I want these uh, you know tasks to be executed uh, is that only after all these three tasks have been done then only I want to run the next three tasks something like this so as in right now if I of course run this um, if you just uh, clear the output and uh, yeah, so uh, we want uh, this to happen, we want the first three functions to run and then the next three functions to run. We want the first three to run parallelly with each other, but uh, wait for all three to end and then run the next three and they should all run parallelly to each other. Um, what happens is that if I write await in front of everybody, they will run serially. If I don't write await in front of anyone, then they will all run parallelly to each other. I mean, uh, we can just uh, take a look at uh, the output of uh, this thing um, uh, let me just switch my screen to the uh, code you can see like we have all these three lines of code out here and uh, if I just you know, try to run uh, this thing uh, again is that it's all running with each other right I mean the aren't of calls they just go till the end and all that stuff okay so this is not what we wanted um, what we want is that the first three should be running uh, first and then the next three something like that. Um, what we'll do is um, we will use a very uh, interesting uh, thing here. We will uh, remove these functions. We will call something called promise.all. This promise.all takes an array. Okay. And inside this array, you can actually uh, put uh, other promises inside that so basically every time I call these functions they are uh, returning some uh, uh, you know yeah there you go so let me just indent that stuff and uh, we have like uh, 
when you promise dot all and inside that we have an array inside the array we put three promises because every time i call hello sir it returns a promise to me so all these three things hello sir are now hello sir we shall and hello sir harshit all uh, three of them uh, they uh, return me promises i put all these three promises into promise dot all with this um what we are going to do uh, next is uh, we just uh, you know uh, do the same thing with the next three things uh, take this and uh, say, take this uh, do await promise dot all uh, put make it an array and uh, put all three things into this again okay? and between these two things let's just put a line here console dot log uh, first batch uh, over right and let's just run this code and see how that works out so you see that uh, first uh, only the Arnav, Rishabh and Harshit calls are running uh, in the beginning and there is a first batch over this console.log line runs after that and then the next three promises which is Ayush, Karima and Karthik, Karthik these three are running after that so uh, you can uh, take promises and you can uh, Put them into uh, a promise dot all array and then await that promise dot all array. So uh, let me just go back to the uh, to my drawing pad and uh, you know talk about that. Uh, just a second, uh, there you go. So what we're talking about here is that uh, we wanted uh, it to work out in uh, this way. But if I like, call all the promises uh, without uh, await, uh, then it runs like this, right? And if I uh, put await in front of every promise, then it works somewhat like this. Uh, or I mean, just let me. And uh, you get the idea, right? That's the order in which uh, like, it waits for the first promise to end and then it starts the next one, it waits and then it starts the next one. So what I want is something between these two conditions. I uh, don't want this, I don't want this. What I want is uh, three of them running together and then the next three running together. Okay. So uh, this can be achieved using uh, the code that you have just uh, seen. That is, we group the promises together into a promise.all array and we await the entire array okay so it's gonna wait till the last promise is over uh, the await uh, will not trigger on the first promise that ends it will trigger on the last promise that ends okay so if there's like six seconds two seconds three seconds like that it will wait till the one which uh, has six seconds in that it will uh, wait till the longest one and then uh, we will just go on to the next line print the console.log and wait for all of these ones together you look at the output, you'll see that uh, just before first batch over, there are three calls to Arnav because, like, the last uh, promise for Harshit runs after that, there are still three uh, iterations of Arnav left. They're going to run. Uh, similarly, here, like, there are iterations to Garima which are running afterwards uh, because when it ends, like, there are some uh, Garima iterations left to run. Okay. So, um, that's basically how uh, we can. Uh, batch uh, together certain tasks make them concurrent and then make uh, two batch tasks uh, seem sequential to each other again okay. so you've got a lot of control over the way you're executing code if you use uh, async await syntax and plus you use uh, the promise dot all uh, operator so you know both together really powerful tool to have you can like make everything um, concurrent or sequential based on your requirements how you want to uh, run the tasks you can just order them in the way you exactly like